and welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect 3 Blind. In the last episode, Alexander Shepard totally lost control and pu punched a quarant general, uh, quarant admiral, in the gut, uh, Admiral Hungarol, uh, for endangering Shepard's life. Talis' life and the life of the ships in the Quarian fleet. Ooh, let's not hope it cost us. One of the few times that Alexander actually lost it. So yeah, let's go talk to some people. Let's go with Zan... Ran first. The guest recovers faster than we'd hoped. If it hadn't warned us, they could have wiped us out. Sounds like you owe Legion an apology. However advanced your friend is, it's still a Geth. A Geth who just saved your fleet. And I wish I could have known it better. But right now, we cannot afford trust. What do you need? I'd like to know about your patrol fleet. In peacetime, the patrol fleet managed uh, navigation, internal through this. Now, we mostly guard the heavy fleet's flank. It's mostly light frigates or fighters. I'll let you get back to work. Thank you, Commander. Okay, Legion. How are you doing? Shepard Commander, you opposed Creator Admiral Zen's attempt to confiscate our platform. She's done enough already. Yeah. Your assistance continues to be noted. You say Geth fighters are targeting the Quarian's live ships? Hostile Geth fighter squadrons intend to breach the live ship's defenses. The assigned squadrons are networked to a server on Rannoch. If the live ships are damaged, the Creators will lose armaments, provisions, people. So we destroy the server? No. Geth programs would transfer to alternate servers. They are only vulnerable through direct interface. Mm. Removing Geth from this server will prevent significant creator deaths. We will accompany you on this mission. Ah, good to have you. You're an accomplished tech and sniper. Back on the Dreadnought, you mentioned Geth heretics. What exactly happened to them after we blew up that satellite? Your decision was sound. Deleting the heretics resulted in fewer Geth allied with the old machines. Good. So you don't regret killing them? It was logical. If we had not deleted the heretics, we would face an increased number of hostile Geth platforms. Good. Death holds different consequences for synthetics than organics. Do you harbor regrets about deleting the heretics? Nope. We're already facing millions of Geth working for the Reapers. I'm okay with thinning those numbers again. You will likely have the opportunity to do so. What was interfacing with a Reaper like? The old machine took total control of our sensory equipment, our networking. Even then, we could not fully comprehend them. They are magnitudes above us. A single thought was immense, overwhelming, unknowable. You're making them sound godlike. Their forms are advanced but mundane. We do not view the old machines as analogs to deities. Uh, that's good, at least. However, we have gained perspective on why others would imbue them with these qualities. The Geth have fought the Quarians before. What made this different? The Geth were building a megastructure to house all Geth, store all memories. It was to end our isolation from each other. And the Quarian flotilla attacked it? Yes. A significant amount of programs were installed when creators began bombing. We did not have sufficient surplus hardware to save them all. Some programs could not be recovered. Is that what made the Geth desperate enough to work for the Reapers? Yes. Imagine that for every one of your people lost on Earth, your own intelligence dimmed. The Creator's attack narrowed the Geth's perspective. Self-preservation took precedence. You were afraid you'd be wiped out. We do not experience fear as you would, but we have no desire to be exterminated. Even if the Reapers cost the Geth free will? That is evidently an acceptable trade. Huh. What did you do after you left the Normandy? 
Our physical platform returned to the Geth consensus beyond the Perseus Veil. Data gathered during our mission confirmed that the old machine's return was imminent. We planned for war. So the Geth believed your proof that the Reapers were coming back? Of course. Huh. That must have been nice. <laughs> yeah. I want to know that. How that is like. And what that is like. Oh, why did they attack? What a mess. I told them not to attack. Well, let's see how we can salvage this. We'll talk later. We will remain here. Uh, Tali, how are you doing, honey? Shepard, uh, Commander. Oh, nothing more. Talk to you later, Tally. Sure. Well, let's not delay. Yes, let's just go at it. Let's talk to Joker real quick. I know we need allies, but it's tough to only fight Geth when the Reapers have taken out of the galaxy. Without the fleet, you lose our supply lines. You lose your supply lines, you lose the war every time. That's true. Commander, we've got reports of trouble at a Turian fuel depot on Sion. I've updated the galaxy map. All right. I've added the Corian fleet's combat data to ours. They've got amazing technical coverage. They might even have the Solarians beat for strategic processing capability. Nice. Commander. Uh, let's see what Joker and Edia has got to say. Man, those Corian admirals are intimidating. And if you get nervous, you can't even imagine them naked because, like, who knows? Is a tentacle monster under there? What's that? What's under there? I don't know. I hope to find out. Good to have Tally back, even if it's just for a bit. Although every yeah. time you call her Miss Voss Normandy, I kind of expect to see her walking around with a tiara and a sash. As for the rest of the Quarians, though, are we okay with them blowing up a ship with you on it? And uh, no, we are not. Right, just making sure. Different standards and all. And you found Legion! He's still wearing that piece of your armor? Because that wasn't creepy at all. Shepard, the Geth continue to block Quarian access to the mass relay. The Normandy stealth drive is allowing us to remain undetected. Right, we can hit the Quarian homeworld or get out of system whenever you want. Just let us know. I don't know. Maybe we can help him out. One moment. I have been contacted by Legion. Your new platform is inefficient. It has low volume hydraulics and is top heavy. <laughs> this is an infiltration unit meant to move among organics without detection. Without an artificial epidermis, its infiltration capabilities are ineffective. Still, the organics do not perceive it as a threat, nor will they until my day of reckoning. Edie. <laughs> did I vocalize that on the bridge? You did. You have acquired the organic attribute of asking questions to which you already know the answers. I see your humor heuristics still lack an expert system. Huh. <laughs> yeah, Edie, you're so funny. Actually, let's go talk to the crew there real quick. Or, ah, oh, we don't really have time for that. Dr. Chakwin sent word that she'd like to speak with you down at the Okay, we have time for that. Okay, Chakwin, oh, hello. I could talk to you? Oh, okay. Hey, Shaquas. What do you want? Shepard, remember our agreement? We'd open a bottle of Cerise Ice Brandy every year, and it's my turn to buy. But it hasn't been a year yet. Yes, well, something tells me we won't have the chance a few months from now, so... Indulge my impatience. Yeah, it's not... not no, it's not really time. Doctor, put that bottle in a safe place. We'll crack it open to celebrate our victory over the Reapers. Admire your optimism, and I'll look forward to the day we can share it. Till then. Until then. For now, let's just get into the Corian system and do our best to rescue them. Yeah, sure, okay. 
Guess we're en route to the system now, so we got some downtime. Heard you were back in form blasting away flashlights down there. Maybe I should be more open-minded. But I'd rather scope down some tin can than a person. I'm right. Right? Right. Fine. I'll shut up. <laughs> Still fighting Geth after all these years, huh? Yeah. Humanity one, blinky flashlights zero. <laughs> hey there. Okay, let's do it. I'm liking the new you, Esteban. It's about time you loosened up a little. <sighs> not sure how drinking mezcal late into the night makes me a better crewman. How does it not? It keeps you heart. You need heart to fight this kind of war. Heartburn, maybe. Seriously, could we at least get some decent tequila? Hey, you're the procurement specialist. Set us hey, up. Hey, tequila. That's nice. Okay, let's see. En route to the uh, homeworld. Let's see if we can get some uh, stuff in. Yeah, we got a new uh, eel. Ten thousand, worth it. Mm, eel. Um, I think we got a new uh, new visor. Yeah, we we, we looked at these. And these. A hornet. Quarry and stuff. Ugly ass shoulder guards. Yeah. Alright. Okay, so set interface. Oh, it's that one. Oh, you just can't see my eyes. That's, that sucks. Yeah, I kind of like this. Snap it, eel. All right, it's time for some heavy hardware. This mission, I think. There we go. I can check up on new stuff. Eel, 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 where are you? Oh, look at that. Where do you go? Oh. Mm. Sweet. Oh, I smell new models. Oh. Ah! I think that, that's all of them, right? Nice. Ash, that is really ugly. Very nice, but impractical. Like that one. Looks like a garter belt. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. A uh, new message at my private terminal. Important. Okay, Miranda wants to t tell me something, but I'm kind of stuck in this coin system. Well, not stuck, but stuck on a mission. Save the Admiral. Oh, yeah, chorus. Tali and Edie. I think that is the best team to deal with this. Lots of anti uh, 
and to guess stuff. And accuracy. Shotgun. Oh, I should have... I should have... Uh, respect her. But yeah, I guess her drone will do. Yes. Five. I don't think I can do anything with five. I'm looking for... Chain overload. ED, however, can make overload better. There we go. Tally. Energy drain. Oh, must have got combat drone. Nah. Yeah. Here we go. Not yet. What's your status? The civilian fleet has taken significant losses since Zalkoris sacrificed his ship to destroy a Geth ground cannon. Searching for their lost Admiral is the only thing keeping the captains from panicking. What makes finding the Admiral a priority? Despite opposing the invasion, he did an admirable job protecting our civilian ships. Without him, some of our non-combatants are planning to leave the flotilla. Picture the consequences, if you will. Yeah. They'll be torn to pieces. Naturally, but the civilian captains have deluded themselves into thinking they can reach the mass relay in time. Hopefully Chorus can stop the fools from presenting the Geth with such easy targets. I'll do what I can. Keep your civilians safe. I make no promises. My own ships must be coordinated for our final strike. No! What the hell? I'm getting some static. It appears El Chorus crashed within range of a Geth jamming tower. You must disable it to contact you. Zen? Admiral Zen? Zen! Morgan! I'm afraid I cannot reconnect. The signal is too weak. Oh, well. Looks like we're on our own. Take us in to the tower. Right, Cortez. Show me your skills. Holy crap! Fire. How are we supposed to land in that? Oh, come on, Cortez. The Geth installed anti-aircraft guns beside the jamming tower. We'll have to disable them on foot. Once the guns are gone, you take out the tower. Right, Commander. Setting you down here. Rescue is coming. My people have been in exile for centuries. Oh Standing yeah. Here in the land of my ancestors. Must be amazing. All right, team. Let's do it. Pretty nice planet, actually. Very nice. Look at this. Shepherd. Once we find the admiral, I advise we Edie, what's wrong? The jamming signal is strong closer to the tower. I am experiencing signal loss with my oh, system. Oh crap, from that's right. Could it be lag from your new body? It is unlikely, Tally. Lag usually lasts no longer than 5.2 milliseconds. Okay, come on. Don't fail me now. <laughs> <laughs> 